Hey guys, welcome for another video. You are watching. In this video, we are looking into another vulnerability called uh, reverse engineering. It stands out a uh, ninth rank in a top 10 OS for a mobile, right? So, uh, you know, in this video, we will learn like uh, what makes an app vulnerable to reverse engineering and what are the best practices to avoid the or mitigate this vulnerability, right? An app is said to be vulnerable for uh, reverse engineering when an attacker can easily read the code, like, you know, we we saw in earlier videos right we can be compiled apk and we can be the some of the java code right uh, in the sense java code in the sense that the handwritten code in a compiled format which when we unpack it it will uh it, like we can read it in a java format so in the sense like if we can read uh the code very clearly then easily we can understand some business logics of the application Right then, if if at all if an attacker uh, understands the business logic, then easily it is it is one of the major uh, you know uh, thing which has to be protected from the organizations. Right, so that is one of the main thing. And another important thing is you know when it comes to the premium applications like you know Hulu or RLT or uh, you know there are a lot of lot of like it might be a Baiju so you, know, you can see uh, like mod apps of Baiju also RLT also and AHA also there are a lot of uh, you know uh, APKs which give streaming service or uh, you can take Spotify whatever it is like you know the people are easily modding modding in the sense uh, uh, you know uh, bypassing the premium checks but how in the sense that's what obviously they will uh, read the code like either uh, like either Smiley code or a Java code and they know where to modify like uh, like if we modify this like this is gonna work that's what like if you are able to read the code you can do it so if an attacker is able to read the code and bypass the things and if he's activating a premium version then you can easily think your code is not well obfuscated right obfuscate is a technique where you will make the things a little bit harder and difficult for a reverse engineer right <laughs> yeah accurately uh, an attacker can perform a cross function analysis so it is also one of the things and there are reasonable accurate recreation of a source code from the binary in the sense assembly level languages although the most apps are susceptible to reverse engineering and uh, it's important to examine the potential business impact of reverse engineering when considering whether or not to mitigate this risk that's what like you know based upon the risk factor Right, suppose if your app is just a PDF reader or photo waiver, it doesn't need a much kind of uh, stronger uh, implementation. Suppose your uh, uh, application is regarding some e-education or uh, something like some streaming platform or some, some in your functionality which has some very uh, business things to be done, then stronger specification and stronger uh, reverse engineering uh, restrictions has to be put in. Right. So these are the things what makes an app vulnerable to reverse engineering. So let us discuss on what, uh, like, you know, how can we, how can we prevent it happening, right? A good obfuscate. There are there are a lot of obfuscation tools, you know, in a in the internet. One of the strong is uh, Prograd and Tencent. There are a lot. Okay, if you can do, there are. Uh, private companies also which gives uh, such kind of uh, code production right a good uh, obfuscation will make a uh, you know uh, analyst job or malware analyst or reverse engineer's uh, job very very difficult right and narrow down the methods and code segment to obfuscate in the sense what to obfuscate what not to obfuscate so that it will create then it will create a comp like you know, some kind of confusion between the reverse engineers also Tune the degree of obfuscation to balance the performance impact. Yeah, that's also very important. And uh, which can de obfuscation from the tools like Idea Pro. They are very, very good disassemblers. So you have to make sure, like, you know, uh, it is very difficult to, you know, you know reverse engineer the code uh, with them. And the string obfuscation is also very good, like, very much required. Uh, because, you know, uh, if you put a string with uh, human readable things easily, we can read and we can identify, okay, this is this, this is that. 
but if we manipulate the strings also then it will it will give them a much more time or uh, complex to to the things and nowadays uh, i see the applications are uh, getting developed in a flutter which is a native development like where there's a like which has a native code development c++ things so it is very good you know uh, reverse engineering a flutter is a uh, really good headache uh, honestly as a mother and i'm telling like you know uh decompile uh, like when we decompile the application all the code will be in a binary in a sense like shared object without so file so if you have a very good uh, uh knowledge on analyzing binary files or so files so we can do it but yes like you know flutter apps are little bit headache than normal java and kotlin apps right so this is it for uh, this video guys if you have any doubts or uh, confusions don't mind to drop us uh, your your issues right so see you again in the next video until then bye bye take care